Hey, David, good evening. Hey, teacher, good evening. How's it going? I'm a good teacher, and you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Doing better, a lot better, actually. Excellent. How's your job? Yeah, it's so good. How many hours do you teach every day? Well, I teach from uh, 7 to 3 at afternoon, but uh, I wake up at 5 o'clock and I arrive to the school at uh, 6, uh, walk for an, half an hour and read for another half an hour and, and then eat and then start teaching. But always uh, teaching um, like basic subjects, but in English. I teach math. Just math. And uh, for the for the uh, last last grade for eleventh grade, I I teach uh, language. Languages. Yes. Language. language. No, no, Spanish. Yeah, language. Yes. Um. Okay. And so those are like 45 minutes classes or? Uh, no, it's one hour, one hour class. An hour class, okay. Yes, and, and an then... hour class because uh, we have uh, 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 the government uh, demand the, we did teach six class of 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. I have five class of 60 minutes. Five, 60 minutes classes, okay. Yes. It's from Monday through Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but in math I don't have problem because I, I like it math. I like it. I I can teach hours and hours and hours without book, without nothing. What but, are the what are the basic uh operations? You have adding uh, sub subtracting. Yes, but I I start with algebra. Algebra. No, no, no. I mean, I, I want to remember. Yes. I, I always forget that is adding, subtracting, uh, dividing, dividing, multipli multiplication, or or factor, uh, but not factoring. Factor. No, 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 no. Factoring is the 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 opposite of multiplication. But uh -huh. the, the 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 basic operation start at uh, uh, the first that uh, the, the they learn in uh, the first or second grade is a uh, a uh, numeration and and numeration and and notation notation and numeration that are writing and reading numbers. Mm -hmm. This is the first that they they learn. Then I add this subtracting, multiplication, and dividing, and then is uh, squaring and uh, and uh, uh, using exponents and, and so on. And we we finish with the logarithms and exponentials. Yes, I teach um, the basic stuff, you know, on on basic levels. Uh, but it, it's like a game when we're talking about numbers. Um, there's a little table on the internet that I like to use. It's like uh, saying. Don't just telling a classmate, right? Hey, five plus eight. Okay, 13, 13 times five. <laughs> yes. and they go like, okay, uh, okay, minus, and then divided between. Okay, what's the result? Equals, you know, and and they go crazy, uh, challenging each other, <laughs> saying those operations in English. <laughs> it's very funny. And yes. I like students having fun, you know, it's like on live classes, they're always like uh, playing games with me and everything, but learning, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. Yeah, yes. Okay, guys, how many are we? We are six. Oh, my God. Okay. Only three students with the camera. Hey, Steve Rogers, how are you? Hi, Good evening. Good evening. 
what you've been up to. Could you repeat, please? What you've been up to. Mm. Where did you be up? What have you been up to? Uh, no, know. no, okay. Let me do it here. Don't worry. What have you been up to is like, what have you been doing? What have you been up to? An American way of answering this question, a very American way is same old, same old. Same old. Yeah, same old, same old. Okay. Lo mismo es siempre. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Same um, cosa. <laughs> So it's, it's not bad, it's not good. It's just, stop saying, stop saying more or less. Ah, there. So the way to say the. They're surviving. <laughs> okay, don't say, ahí sobreviviendo. No, it's something very common, same old, same old. Oh, another way of answering that is, can complain. Okay, yes. Can complain. I can complain. It's like saying, yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. It's all good. Okay. But honestly, um, always try to answer uh, very positively. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so being at home is totally different you see and that's that's like the main thing um typically and let me tell you a little bit more about myself um let's say up to last year still during last year i had this routine at regal at english corporativo of teaching from 5 30 p.m to 7 30 p.m a live class at the uh, facilities of Inglés Corporativo. And I love this routine, you know, working from 5 a.m. to 12.30 in the call center. And then during the afternoon, I tend to either go to the gym or take the kids to their additional classes or help them with their homework and then get ready to go to work, 5.30 to 7.30. And then at 7.30, I used to run you know, come in a rush. I used to do like 10, 15 minutes driving back home because I, I live close to Lescalon. I mean, there's some shortcuts I can take and, and get quicker to my house through La 75 Avenida. So I, I could take that, that shortcut, you know, and it was very exciting actually driving my car, which is a very old car, not anymore. <laughs> It runs really fast now. And and the thing is that I used to come and teach, again, this class from 8 to 10, 10, 10. So, and then I used to stay preparing the class of the next day and so on. So from Monday through Friday, Saturdays, I usually work on the call center. And then in the afternoon, I used to teach the five hours, you know, David, that, that's a nightmare. That that's really that's really difficult. That schedule on weekends because this course you can take it. I don't know if you know, but I don't know, virtually I don't know that it exists. I I, I couldn't I can picture myself teaching five hours online. That's too much. And so, but the course has that option, you know, of having five hours on Saturday and five hours on Sunday. Saturdays where. God, Saturday afternoon teaching with the air conditioning, you know, everybody's falling asleep. Not with me, right? I, I tend to clap on people and, hey, let's go and do this. And so, Sunday was were easier because you you wake up with more energy, you know, um, more willing to do dynamics with people. 
and the time goes flying, you know. It's from it was from 7:30 to to 1:30. I think this uh intermediate and advanced levels was six hours. It was really tough. But I loved it. I mean, I, I spent like five years, I don't know, seven years working that that routine from Monday through Sunday. Monday through Sunday. But you know what? It's really weird. I don't know if David, with his experience, or Anna Claudia, you know, um, have you been there when you work a lot and you never get sick? You stop working and you get sick. <laughs> it's yeah. like, what's going on, right? It's like if your body knows you're going on vacation. Oh, you're going on vacations. Okay, get the cold. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's really funny yeah. Okay. Yeah, all this stress goes out it blows suddenly yeah I mean it's like being stressed for work makes you like your brain aware that you cannot get sick mm -hmm. can't get sick especially when you play an important role like the one that directs the orchestra you know that's what the teacher do I mean, you have to direct your guest. So if you're not there, man, it's like a surgeon not being at the surgery, right? Whoops. Same thing. So I love it. I mean, but I'm getting old. And so it's more difficult for me to do this, you know. The more I do it, I get more tired and more sleepy, like David was saying one of these days. <laughs> right, David? <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, let's go. They 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 punished me one time because of doing voices. I I I I turned off my camera. It was a kid's class, you know. And I started the class like, hello, hello, welcome to the English class. Tonight, I mean, we're gonna see something. Thank okay, you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then like, the kids were the like kids the were like the kids were like, where, where are you, Mickey, Mickey? And I was like, and then when they saw me, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not Mickey. <laughs> That's why they punished me, because it was too cruel for the guys. Okay, guys, let's start. So now we are 11. Okay, that's a more reasonable number. We're 14. Okay, I don't like calling out the attention of nobody. I, I teach her I have 80% of unit one at the end of the class. Okay. Again, my computer is completing some updates. Okay, and I'm oh, but I'm here. <laughs> there, there. Yeah, uh, the ones I mentioned, guys. Come on, complete the exercises. That's all you have to do in these modules. Let's do the ex the attendance really quick. It's really late. Um, please turn on your camera. William, Jose Wilfredo, and Jarvin. Okay, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. There you are. Yeah. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Gracia Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Ok. <laughs> Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. And it's not here yet. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Hi. Miranda. Presentation. Got you. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Okay. <laughs> Remember, say something, guys. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Present, teacher. I'm here, too. I'm here, teacher. <laughs> Thank Present. you, Jose. Thank you, Juan Miguel. Okay, Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. No, and William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Excellent. You're working yet still? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're still, you're still working, right? Okay. How do we do this? I have a little, a little, little, little exercise for you, really quick, so we can um review the quotations, you know, the Joyce quotations. So 
you can tell um, when we started before. Should we do it here? Or would you like me to split you in groups? What do you prefer? It's up to you. I prefer to stay here, teacher. We shall stay here, okay. Yes. Okay, yes, cool. Yes. Cool, 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 let's do it. Everybody at the same time. Um, guess this set and share my screen with you so we can do this. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. If you like rock and roll, I recommend you uh, Led Zeppelin. I was I was listening to a song. I think it's named "Baby, I'm Leaving You." It was really heavy. It's really nice. There are songs that cheer you up, right? Like Van Halen. I don't know if you know Van Halen. There are some Van Halen songs that really cheers you up. You know, like like this. Every time I do that, I, rem I remember Jerry Maguire with Tom Cruise, if you remember that movie. <laughs> There's a scene where the guy wants to cheer himself up, you know, like push his self-esteem really high because he made it, right? And he was very happy, but he couldn't find a song <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> I don't know if that happened to you ever. Okay, let's see. So we have an exercise. What do you have to do? You know what you have to do. Add quotations where needed. Excellent. Can you can you write in the chat, teacher? Please. What do you Copy mean? That. Copy that. Oh, sure, sure, the... sure. No problem. Yes. In that way, we no continue. trouble. There you go. In the first one, I think is the word hard. The first one, Mary is trying. Mary's trying I, I, hard I in school all, this semester. All, all of the friends, uh, Mary's trying because he's what her father said. Oh, he's, you he's got it. Her father said. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It was good. Very good. There's where the quotation go. Well, actually, I'm going to highlight the keywords as David did. Her father said, okay, keep going. Just think about it for a minute. I will ask each one of you to give me this straight answer. I'm just going to give you five minutes, okay? Right now, no, three minutes, three minutes. Just scan it. In the number four. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to put my English teacher. <laughs> Merci. S'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup. Merci hey. Beaucoup. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I do. Not King Cole. 
Na Darling, je vous ai beaucoup. Je vous ai pas what to do. You know you've completely stolen my heart. Aquí cool, sing in Spanish too. Oh, really? I, I, I don't know, but I uh, remember. I, I think. I, I, I'm I, not sure. I, think I am not know much about music, but. but I, I think. Uh, you remember? I think Having listened I to him, yes, something like uh, the trios, something like that. So, no, I don't know. Is that that song? I don't know something like that. <laughs> I'll look for it. I have doubts in number three and number four mm -hmm. because of or is everything or is only a little well it's time one minute yes I am It's for the way you look at me. Oh, it's for the one I see. Maybe it's very, very extraordinary. It's anyone, anyone that you adore. Okay. Okay. Time's up. I'm going to start. I'm going by order, okay, of appearance here in my screen. So I'm going to start with Dora Elizabeth. Let's go with number two. Yeah, for me, it's a, I cannot get you to the airport in 15 minutes. I cannot get you to the airport in 15, 15 minutes. Hey, guys, by the way. This is the right spelling of the word cannot without the contraction, okay? Yes. I don't, I don't know if you knew that, about that's it. That's my doubt. I, I spent many years writing like this. I cannot, and eh, it was a mistake for many years. I didn't know until like five, six years You need to be together? That, that it goes together, yeah. If you're not contracting, that's you the way it is. You use cannot. Yeah, it goes together. Okay, so yes, that's partially true. What do you think, guys? What else could be on the first the first word? No, because it's <laughs> the taxi driver saying. <laughs> Come on, guys. David is on fire tonight. <laughs> you got it. But number three, number four. <laughs> I don't, okay. don't, don't see. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Laura. That was good. Let's go with Ileana. Um, number three. I think uh, that I believe. Okay. I believe Jack remarked that oh, oh, okay. the best time of the year to visit Europe is is in the spring. Is in the spring. Yeah. It's in spring. Mm -hmm. I agree with Jack. Do we all agree? Jack with Jack, because it's the time with the the time but the days are longer. The other time, the uh, day wait, 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 short. but remember, we are not looking at, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, whether sorry. it is I, true or not, but I dramatically for, for the tangent. <laughs> sorry, it's okay, don't say sorry. I, I, I was thinking the phrase Jack remarked that, but the but best believe... time of the year of year to visit Europe is in the spring. At least that's what I read when I read in a book entitled Guide to Europe. Uh, that part, too, did you got the entitled? Guide yes. to Europe, the name yes. of the book. I see everything. Now, let me show you something. Uh, yes. an, extra, an extra point here. When there is a title of a book or a movie or a reference to something where a quote was taken from, listen, the quote was taken from or information was taken from a magazine, a book, a novel, a uh, novel, a movie yes. then you need to use italics there is where you need to use italics or italics okay okay, okay. but makes sense, no, right? but not quotations 
yeah, the quotation, well, based on the exercises that I found, it's the whole thing. You know, I believe Jack mm -hmm. remarked that the best time of uh -huh, year uh -huh. to visit Europe is in the spring. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mark continued talking. Uh, At least yes. that, I mean, when, when they say I, it's Jack. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so we're good. Great job, I, great I, job. But, but that is, is the past of It's red, I read. Red. I read. Yeah, well, it's yes. fast. Yes, of course. Okay. At least that's what I read in a book entitled Guides Europe. Anna Claudia, number four. Anna Claudia. Okay, let me go with David then. <laughs> wow. My French professor told me uh, that is the... This part is the, the, the next part is the, the quotation that uh, my French professor told me that quotation, my accent is abominable. No sé cómo se dice. Abominable. 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 Yeah. My accent is abominable. Abominable. That part, my accent is abominable. Yes, Let's see. Because, abominable. because that is the connection. Abominable. Yeah. Okay, so abominable. you think that the whole quotation is here, that told me that... That, no, because this is the connection. My okay. answer, my answer... Accent. Yes. Accent, accent, yes. My accent like, is abominable. Like the card? The, the, yeah. The, 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 yes, you, okay. I, I thought the same thing, you know, in the <laughs> accent, yeah. My accent is abominable. What do you think, guys? I think that just the word abominable. Okay. It's hmm. another possibility, yes. You know but what? I see the exercise I see states. It... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> the exercise states that there is no quotation on this exercise, on this um, example. Okay. No quotation. It's, it's just good as it is. Uh, because the connection. Yes, because of the if, connector. If we, if we don't have connector, yes, my phrase professor told me, and then the quotation. Oh, you yeah. may remember this topic. This is um, how do you call this? Ah, oh, this uh, wait a minute. It's a dependent clause. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. This this is a an independent clause, and this is a dependent clause. If if you only say my French professor told me, it was incomplete. It's incomplete, right? It, there's no idea. Yes. But yes, David said this is a connector, connects the 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 yeah. independent clause with the dependent clause, and so on. Okay. Who's okay. next? David, and then we have awesome. Ana Claudia is far away. Juan Miguel, number five. Okay. She asked, and the quotation mark uh, begins there. Is Time a magazine you read re regularly? Hmm. Is Time a magazine oh. you read regularly? For me, okay. could be could be like that, but yes, um, I think we can do only. Quotation or oh, only only put a quotation mark on time because they are talking or she uh, she is talking about a uh, yeah about that magazine time. So that that's what I was explaining to you on number three, how to emphasize the name of where, of a book. where when when someone when something is relevant, mm -hmm. okay, or you want to make emphasize that that is an object that the, the listener should be aware of is something that whoever you're talking to is supposed to know okay is la prensa gráfica a magazine or a newspaper you read regularly for example i don't know you got the idea yes okay that that's where you use the italics. Is Time mm -hmm. a magazine you read regularly? So now on, it's your turn. If you find any other place where we should use italics, 
Just let me know. So so let's see. Yeah, that that's perfect one. Great job. The, the name is Time or Times, teacher? Times time. is, the, is the newspaper. Uh, times. Uh, time is the yeah. magazine. Yeah. yeah. Time okay. is the magazine. The New York Times. Times. Okay. Time. okay. Yes. It's yes. the newspaper. You got it. That's yes. true. Hey, Paper. that's that's general culture, guys. That's yes. general culture about the United States that we should all know. Okay. Flannery O'Connor probably got the title of one of her stories from the words of the old popular song. A good man is hard to find. Um, Gracia. I will go for just uh, making quotation on a good man is hard to find. You got it. Perfect. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I think good we man. all do. Yeah. Although I'm not sure if you place the period after the quotation. You know what? That's where I still have a doubt because in all the examples I have found, I always see the quotation after the period. Okay. After the period. By the way, I don't know if you have been taught this one, but this guy that you see here, <laughs> I know it's very small, but that guy that little guy that I placed there, okay? When you are writing an email or an electronic address, this guy, it's called dot. Yes. Okay? Yes. So when you are writing a book or you're dictating, you call it a period, right? Yes. You got it? When yes. you're doing numbers. Dot com. Point. You just call it point. Yes. Right? Point. Yes. What else? Is that it? Oh, when you uh, are on math. <laughs> it's point. Huh? Point. No, I'm sorry. When you use currency. Uh -huh, you're... Currency. Uh -huh. This little guy, you will say end. Okay. I'm going to use quotations here. This is very interesting. For example, uh, I want to test someone. Rogers, Steve Rogers, help me here. What if I say this number? Um, can you read it? Yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> yes. Come on, Steve. A thousand. thousand. Twenty-five nine dollars. Mm. Oh, <laughs> no, oh, no. <laughs> Gracias. Would you like to try? And ten cents. And ten cents. Okay, good. But let's read the whole number. Let's see, Gracias. One thousand two hundred fifty-nine and ten cents. And ten cents. Woo! You got it. That's the way. One thousand two hundred fifty-nine dollars. I forgot that. Here, before the point, you say the currency. So if these are euros, if these are Canadian dollars, you say Canadian dollars, euros, and 10 cents. Good job. Did you know all this? Mm, I know some of them. You may have known, but you don't it's the, stop the, thinking. Don't right? raise teacher. Don't raise put it no, in no, the no. Chat. I just put it on the chat. Yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, so I was with Gracia. Let me go with Steve, number seven. We did Roosevelt. You, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Repeat I with me. When did Roosevelt say we have nothing to fear but fear itself? Okay. When did Roosevelt say we have nothing to fear but fear itself? Perfect. Now, look at this. Uh, Gracia, talking about yeah. your topic. Somehow, the quotations on the exercise that I found are placed before the question mark. I disagree with you. Absolutely. I mean, with that. After the question mark, because the After. question mark is important for the sentence. I think that it has to do with uh, either if within the quotation you're making the question or if you're including the quotation uh, as a question, like... Oh uh, did he say this? So, huh? 
do a research. I would like to know whenever you have the time. What Gracia is saying is totally true because these guys is okay. give, gives a sense gives a sense of intonation. Yes. It gives yes. a sense of meaning more than intonation. I'm sorry, a sense of meaning more than intonation. What you're trying to say is said by the quotations and not by the question mark. Wow. We're thinking okay, a lot. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Yes. Thank you, Steve. That was good. Who's next? Uh Iliana already participated. Anna Claudia is gone. No? Anna Claudia is back. I'm I here. I was singing and you were not here. She's gone. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Okay. Please don't to... go. <laughs> Please don't go. I had to move to pick up something. I love you so. Okay. Let's go with number eight. Mm, okay. It seems to me that hip and cool are words that are going out of style. Out of, out of style. Out of style. Out of style. Out of style. Mm -hmm. Out of style. Seems to me that hip and cool are words that are going out of style. It hip seems that there is no quotation in that sentence. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that hip and cool, so I'm thinking alone, is just my uh, it's just thinking my aloud. Language. It seems to me that I'm questioning. No. Hmm. It seems to me, I'm concluding. It seems to me that Hip and cool are words that are going out of style. No, there is no quotation, right? There is like the example number four. It's like number four? Yeah. There is a public What do you think, guys? <laughs> because think... hip and cool are words. It is, they are, that is the subject. Hip and cool, they. And they cool. are words that are, yeah, it's like two, two sentences. Okay, you got it. You, you're getting there. You're getting there. Remember, mm -hmm. we use uh, quotations to emphasize mm -hmm. the words, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Maybe hip one hip. and cool another one. With Ooh, food. you got it. Hip and cool. Oh. Mm. I because think that we are referring to that the specific words. Yes. To this to those oh, to those specific okay. words. Separate. Excellent. Yeah. Hip and cool. Uh, okay. Yes. yes, only the word. Yes. Yeah, it's like, it's like if nobody knows those words, they will go like, oh, it, it seems right. to me that hip and cool are words that are going out of style. Mm. Yeah, you got it? Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, everybody else. Uh, What else? Number nine, everybody. Yesterday, John said, this afternoon, I'll bring back your book, Conflict, in the Middle East. However, he did not return it. I think that before, be, uh, after the coma, the afternoon, I bring back your mm -hmm. book, Conflict in the Middle East, okay. and the name of the book in Italy. This I afternoon. think. Okay. There, the like that. Yes. And what goes on? Italy, Middle East? Conflict. Conflict in the Middle East, Conflict. because all of them is the name of the book. Excellent. All of the it. The title. The title. Yeah, the title of the book is mm -hmm. Conflict in the Middle East. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Where? Oh, yeah. There you go. You got it, guys. I think you, you can handle this topic already. And last one. Can you believe Dot asked me that it has been almost five years since we've seen each other? Can you believe? Dot. What a name. Dot? Something like Dorothy, something like that, maybe. It sounds weird, but it, it is a name. Uh -huh. me? Can you leave? Don't ask me. There is something did. very important in this exercise. Intonation. Uh, oh. Try to try to read it with intonation. And you believe that asked me that it had it has been almost five years. Mm, no, that that's not the proper intonation. The the first part something like exclamation. Can you believe that asked me? 
that it has been almost five ah, his years. Name. Sounds like Department of Transportation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, I was thinking that. <laughs> Can you believe Dot Dot asked yes. me? Can you believe Dot asked yes. me that it has almost yeah it has been almost five years since yes, we have... yes 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 in the 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 the, the first part can you believe can you believe quotation yes and and then the next part that is has been almost five years since we've seen each other and in this case I think the the question mark is inside the quotation inside quotation it's actually out of it. Here is as we've seen each other. That, that's really odd. I have to find out, do a little research on where the quotation mark goes on on questions, you know, before or after. It's a good topic. Sounds sounds Grace, like you good. shared some information about that, did you? In the chat. Oh, did Gracias. Yeah. Gracias, okay. Question yeah. mark should go inside of the quotation marks if the quote is a question. If the quote is not a question, but the sentence is, the question mark should be outside the quotation marks. Okay. We're going to end it in a question mark or exclamation point. Hence the sentence, no extra period is needed. Of course, that, that that's logical. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You're awesome. That was easy for you. So that leaves me no clue. Uh, no doubt that you're fine on this part. Okay, let's keep it rolling. Um, hmm, next part on the agenda. Let's talk about the use of wood for wishes about the future. I have failed as a father. One of these days I was, I try to make a reference to my, my eldest kid, his 13 years old and it was a reference from Rocky Balboa and he was like what what are you talking about and I was like <laughs> what have I done my god you don't know Rocky <laughs> yeah that's not good okay he knows about keys and Metallica and Megadeth but nothing about Rocky I don't know it's not okay and the Bills okay nothing will matter. nothing what Nothing else matters. Actually, yes, there are many things that matter. I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's a great song, you know, and I was reading that his his grandpa, I think, or his father told him that sentence, that advice, give him that advice, and that's why he wrote the song. That's very interesting. Okay. So how to use wood for wishes about the future? Who wants to read? Let's look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. But first, let's understand the grammar. Who can help me? I can help you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Use wish plus noun phrase plus uh, will, will to express the wish for someone to do an action in the future. Continue? No? Yes, please. Hey, Unilever CEO wishes more enterprises and NGOs will join their Unilever Sustainable Living Plan. Sustainable. Sus sustainable. Okay. Living Plan. Sustainable Living Plan. Huh. So, yeah. thank you. Wait, let, let's analyze this, the first sentence. So, we use wish plus a noun phrase. Hmm. But first, I need a subject. Okay. So subject, Unilever CEO, he, okay. Third person, wishes. The noun phrase then I have to understand is more enterprises and NGOs, they or them, right? Them would join, and then I just would, okay. Now, don't forget, and this could be um, a little confusing here, but if you haven't been told, and I will send you a PDF with the uses of the models, if you remember, if you were taught, um, after would, after any model, you need the verb on its base form 
not conjugated in any other grammatical tense, not with ing or anything, just the bare base form of the verb. So <clears throat> that's why you see will join, would be, right? Will start, will stop, will quit. You got it? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I think that that was clear. Let's go with the second one, letter B. Whoever wants to read it. Liana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, since the use which sure. plus Google. Social, social entrepreneurs. Okay. Social entrepreneurs, which they will be able to change the actors and technology of existing systems to achieve sustainability. Thank you. Again, guys, what's the subject here? The first one is social entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, right? They. Entrepreneurs. Okay. Wish they would. They. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, here's the part where I I, I, I don't know you, but be, I get like, be, be. they're talking about a noun phrase. What do you understand by a noun phrase? In your own words. A pronoun, a name, a name with a complement. A name with a complement, right? Something that describes a little bit more the noun, oh. right? But here we're using just a, a noun. Right, a pronoun. They, they. okay. They, yes. so, social entrepreneurs wish they would be able to change the actors and technology of existing systems to achieve sustainability. Okay. So far, so good. Yes. Can somebody give me an example of this way of using wish? I mean, subject wish noun phrase would. Mm -hmm. Something like uh, David Wish, he will speak English very well in, uh, in Nigeria. Uh, come again, again, repeat it, David. Uh, David Wish, he Wishes? would speak. He would speak. Uh huh. English. Very well. In, in what year? In a year. Uh huh. Okay. In a year. Okay. So since you're falling asleep, I need some responses on your chat. Go ahead and give me just one example. But let's make it more complicated, okay? I'll, I'm going to give you the subject, and then you continue the sentence. Let's see who makes the sentence faster, okay? Huh. In, so in, the, in the WhatsApp or in the Zoom chat? Zoom chat. Okay. First sentence, she'll start with Salvadorians. That's your subject on the first sentence. Salvadorians. Don't make it political, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Eliana's face is like, oh, damn it. I was thinking in Nayib Bukele. Salvadorians wish they... Don't 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 put the da, use that that, that don't that yeah, don't say sorry. It's okay. Salvadorians wish they would have more time. The TPS. Paraphrase, paraphrase that. They will TPS. have the they TPS longer. Ah, okay. TPS more time. Salvadorians wish they would be able to change weather in the blink of an eye. <laughs> That's a good one, Gracia. <laughs> Yay. Teacher, two in my hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, Wendy. This will become better people. Mm, I. I said as a subject. <laughs> Let's turn it around. Let's turn it around. Uh, Dora, Salvadorians wish I will become a better person. <laughs> <laughs> the other way around. Okay, Salvadorians wish they will work less hours during the week. 
that's true. That's a good example, and it's true. Okay. Uh, that's good. Okay, so nobody else. I think we got it, right? That's easy. Let's go with the second part. When we use wish plus you would to express a speaker's request, um, who wants to read? Steve? The second part. Mm -hmm. Use wish plus okay 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 you will use wish plus you will plus verb phrase to express a speaker speaker request um letter a uh, wait I, very often very often your request might might make reference to a wish for someone annoying situation to stop some annoying situation to stop hmm let's see the example steve letter a I wish you will start designing detailed strategy to raise more funds of our um and stop depending on donation. Okay. So I subject wish you would. Will. Okay, then we have a verb phrase. Start designing. Start designing. Now in this case, yeah. pay attention to this. You have a verb phrase. Hmm. You know that to separate verbs, you have two options, right? The infinitive form. So, for example, to start to design, design. you will design. start to design. Or the second option, using a gerund, you will start designing, which is more With IAG. appropriate. Yes, with the present participle of the verb. So. Yes. So far, so good. Let's go with the second example. I wish. I wish you will stop complaining about the loan we must pay. You should think about other ways to finance our business instead. Instead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Repeat with me, Steve. Would stop. Would stop. Would stop. Would stop. There you go. I wish you would stop complaining about the loan we must pay. You should think about other ways to finance her business instead. That sounds like my wife. Really? <laughs> okay. So take I wish care. You... Take care. Take care. Don't play with your life. I know. Be careful. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. I'm next to the kitchen and she's cooking. So if you see some eggs coming to my face or something, don't. Don't get worried, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, number three. Uh, Laura, see, I wish you would quite buy those luxurious rooms for use by floating children in India. One more time. I wish you would quit buying those luxurious, luxurious rooms. Repeat, oh, repeat, gross. Steve. Quit. Gross. Quit buying. Quit buying those luxurious robes mm. produced by exploring children in. Repeat with me. I wish you you would quit. I wish you will quit buying those luxurious. Buying lu those luxurious rocks. Rocks produced. Produced by exploded. By exploded. 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 Steve, come on. Exploded. <laughs> Exploded. You got it. Children in India. Okay. Uh, really quick. Quit. Quiet. What was the other one? Oh, quiet. Uh, <gasps> wait a minute. Quilting. <laughs> Quiet. White. Quit. Okay. Like this. This is like almost forms that may kill you one time, okay, on pronunciation. The first one is quit. I quit. I quit. Bye bye. Sorry. You should quit your job. 
quit it, quit it, quit, 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 quit. Second one, man, she's quite beautiful. She's quite beautiful. She's quite tall. I'm quite, am I right? Hold on, am I doing this right? I forgot it already. Yeah, quite, quite. The second one is quite. Q-U-I-T-E, quite, quite, quite. And the last one is shh, quiet, quiet. So quit, you are living, you should live something. Quite is a synonym of very, very. And quiet is to stay silent, to be tranquil, is always quiet, okay? Be quiet. Now, just to reinforce your childhood, when your teacher used to say, be quiet, it's not like, callate, no. Be quiet was, stay calm, relax, okay, be quiet. In case you never wondered that. <laughs> okay, okay. So, this is interesting. I always say that when you use when you use a verb plus an ing form on the second verb, like these examples, what is happening, as the example says, is that you're stopping or you're studying, okay? Or you're affecting an action. Verbs are actions, right? Yes. Yes, verbs are actions. So when you add ing, you put the verb in motion. Now, what can you do with that motion? You can stop it. So picture that when you want to speak and never forget you're stopping the action. So stop ing. You're starting an action and you say start ing. Make sense? Yes, yeah? teacher. Okay. So that's why it sounds so so great. Um, so I'm going to go this time so you can start making examples about this, giving you uh, the verb with ing. Ready? Let's see who does it first. Smoking. Smoking. Follow the structure. I wish you, you're missing something. <laughs> and you that, and that's... <laughs> you sorry. No, 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 don't say sorry. That's very common. We do it, I do it. I made the mistake of forgetting the wood. You will stop smoking near me. Oh, near me, okay. For your own health, David, for your own health. Yes. I wish you will stop smoking for your own health. I wish you will stop smoking within the school grounds. Hey, the principal, the principal quietly said, Oh my god, hey, that's good. You will quit smoking. We could use quit and quiet. That was great. Gracias. Um, let's see what else. What else? It's too obvious. Um exercising. 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 Yeah, that's the right way, David. Okay. I wish children doesn't mm, learning smoking. Mm. Oh, uh -huh. how do you make a negative wish? I wish you will stop smoking. It affects your lungs. That's a good one, Eliana. I, I love Doris' sentence, but how do you make a negative sentence, somebody? 
I wish he will understand smoking affects his health. Okay. I said the next one and I already forgot it. Uh, exercising. I Can wish so you will teach the children. I Those wish she smoking. wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I wish children will learn smoking. Excellent. I wish children wouldn't, Would, wouldn't learn, learn smoking. smoking. Perfect. I wish children wouldn't learn smoking. That's the way you make a negative. I'm going to write it if nobody's doing it. I wish children wouldn't learn smoking. Hey, you know what? I was thinking how we were affected by, I mean, our generation, the, the, the millennials were affected by publicity on, on very naive, naive pictures. I mean, naive pictures on the TV. I mean, I hope you understand the meaning of naive, right? I'm not talking about the president. <laughs> N-A-I-V? N-A-I-V? N-A-I-V, yeah. Mm. Mm, hmm. Google it. I can't remember right now. N-A-I-V. I I understood that there are local things, local no. No, no, naive is uh -huh, that's that's the spelling in a, yeah, naive, innocent. Yes. Ah okay. Like for example, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin used to smoke in all of his films. You know? Yes. So that was like so common, right? Even on cartoons, Goofy was smoking sometimes. So we're like, okay, it's normal. Oh, Pinocchio, when he travels to the amazing land, right? And he's drinking beer and everything. Okay, smoking cigars. Okay. He got drunk. <laughs> I didn't remember that. You didn't, didn't remember, remember that? that? Yeah, that he got drunk, Pinocchio. He got drunk. He gets drunk uh -huh, with his friend. Episode. Yes, was that is part of the movie, yeah, but I he's love older, the yeah, this 19, 1946 version or 1928, I think it is. Betty Davis, you remember Betty Davis, this cartoon? She was always smoking. I remember her name because of the song Betty Davis eyes. Really? Wait, you just ruined the song for me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Betty Davis eyes. Betty Davis eyes. I, I don't remember the name of this man. Oh my God, that song. I, I got it on the tip of my tongue. Okay. <laughs> I wish we would understand smoking. We will understand smoking affects his health. I, somebody did an example with exercising. I lost it. Um, I wish we would do it. Whoa. I wish you would. Huh. What are we missing there? Why we couldn't use do exercise in every day? I wish you would do exercise in every day. Hmm. What can we do instead of do? Oh, somebody did it. Gracias. I wish you would start exercising every day to improve your cardiac, your cardiac health, your heart health, your, uh, what do we call this? Vascular? Vascular health. Sounds better. Yeah, cardiac health is not like very common. But yeah, that's the point. Wow, you got it, right? Any questions? So following these examples, you have start, stop, quit. What other verbs are used on these scenarios? As you can see, <clears throat> for some annoying situation to stop, or start, positive or negative, I should say. What other verbs can we use followed by ing? Disturbing me. Come again? Disturbing me? Stop disturbing me? No, 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 but I'm saying instead of stop, start, and quit. Ah, uh, okay. Every day to improve your health. Yeah, Luis. What about dream? Hmm. 
I wish I would dream kissing you every night. Oh, I don't know. Mm, I wish I would dream being with you every night. Oh, okay. What else? I don't know. Dream. Um, stop. Start. Quit. Are, are you getting the sense of what I'm doing? It's a verb that will affect the next verb in such a way that it will stop it or start it. Begin. Even though it is a synonym of start, begin. I wish you will begin trying to understand me. Hmm. You would, you will care. What about care? You will care taking your kids to school. I wish you will care working. Do you stay also like uh, something that I would like that stay in the same position or always, for example, I wish you will stay thinking in new business strategies uh -huh. <laughs> you got okay, it long i don't know yeah that's that's good i wish you will stay thinking working i wish you will stay working uh -huh. more years in the company claudia uh -huh. you've been here for yeah. so long that i wish you will stay working for more time today i'm in my 17th birthday <laughs> Ooh, hey round of applause for anna claudia uh, thank you unbelievable neither me i believe it <laughs> yeah guys Anna Claudia is a living miracle. <laughs> and no, it's company. true. It's just that she works in a call center, guys, and that's not common in call centers to last for so long. But so, also, I guess Jose Wilfredo has long time. How, she's, how long? she's a long timer too? Jose Wilfredo yeah. has a long time. Um, 11 years working at the same call center. Yeah. You see? Where? Same concentric? concentric. The same. Uh -huh, concentric. Yep, the same concentric. So we may have met at any given point sometimes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember a lot of people from, from that place. It was a nice, actually, it was a very nice company. Uh, the Christmas it parties, the Christmas nice parties was uh -huh. amazing. Yeah. Anyways, but uh, still, so congratulations. Thank you. Again, yeah. Wow. Thank you. 17 years, 11 years. That's persistence. Okay, questions. Do you have any questions? She will stay sleeping. Oh, yeah. The question is uh, because the uh, it says here something annoying situation to stop. So we can use also verbs uh, that will invite to remain in the same. Exactly. Remain at the same stage uh -huh. or to start an action. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What about think? I wish you will think correcting your actions. I wish you... I wish you will think investing your saving, savings in... Something my more <laughs> profitable, something more smart, something smarter. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. that, that's an okay. advice you could give to your kid I uh -huh. wish you would what think, think? In, investing your money on, so, on investing, something uh -huh. I forgot what I said <laughs> <laughs> something like that something like that but you got the idea guys these uh -huh. verbs are very important because you're affecting the uh, the action the action verb the way I like to call it is because the ing puts in action the verb so think about it Okay, uh, so for our next act, we have the exercises. And this time I'm gonna split you so you can think about the possible outcomes of this um, exercises. You just need to write, rewrite a sentence using wish plus you would to state the wish for those situations to change happen in the future. So it's just six, but I want to beg you Okay, I want to beg you to do something this time. Number one, make sure that everybody participates. And if someone is a little lost, okay, 
just help them achieving understanding. Does that make sense? No? Yes. Yeah, okay, help your coworkers, your classmates, I'm sorry, uh, to make them understand what we're doing. If, they're, if you feel they're kind of lost. Don't make it clear, I mean, don't make it so straightforward, but just let, or be free as well, guys. If you're not understanding, tell your coworkers, your classmates, hey, you know what, I'm lost. But please don't go like estamos haciendo. <laughs> At this point, that's not allowed in this class, okay? Okay, so we're gonna make three groups. Let me see the way, where are you, David? I got you on two separate groups, hold on. Okay, let's go. Uh, where are you, David is here. Let's take it to number four. There we go. Okay. So uh, I was checking the exercises. Uh, do you mind if I read it? The first one. Is that okay? I'm gonna read the first one. Social uh -huh. entrepreneurs uh, need to reduce operation costs and increase the number of beneficiaries to achieve sustainability. And we are supposed to write a sentence using wish uh, plus would to state the wish for those situations to change or happen in the future. So on the first one, I think it should be like, I wish social entrepreneurs start reducing operation costs and increase the number of its beneficiaries to achieve sustainability. I don't know. I wish social entrepreneurs will kneel. Oh. No, sorry. Would, would. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Just yeah. asking. <laughs> no, me neither. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not sure which is the, who who's the one wishing? <clears throat> Or maybe it, it could be social entrepreneurs wish they would reduce operation cost and increase the numbers the number of its beneficiaries. Okay, social entrepreneurs wish they need. No, wish will need. I know. I I don't know how they to. Would they would or because it should be in German form. Mm -hmm. Social entrepreneurs wish they would start, start reducing. I think start start, start reducing mm -hmm. operations, right? Start reducing operations. Start or stop? Start. <laughs> <laughs> Because 
start just an interpretation. We'll start reducing operation. We'll cost. Stop. We'll stop. We'll no, we'll start because they need to we'll change start. that, right? Mm -hmm. okay. We'll start reducing operation costs. Okay. Reducing operation costs. Okay, the rest remain the same, right? And increase the number of this beneficiary search. Okay. Do you agree, Jose? I'm, I'm checking, I'm thinking now. Let's see, someone is sharing the screen now. Hmm? Huh? What? I believe that someone was sharing the screen to see if, uh, because I was thinking and do it the first, but I'm not finished. Yet. So I don't pay attention uh, about what you were doing. Oh no, we were saying with Ileana that as we need to start with, because it's a desire, we I can start with I wish. And then we use the subject, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, it's entrepreneurs, but then we need to use wool and a verb that makes this situation change. And we were saying that we can use start or stop. Stop. Uh -huh, but it made sense to us that we better use start reducing because it's something they need to, to do. To start to do. <laughs> Yeah. Uh huh. Let's start with the second one. And let's see. Okay. Kailash Satyarthi, the founder of Good Web, invites rock retailers to source all rocks that have been produced without employing child labor. This is okay. I last with a good day. Wishes what? Wishes from retailers will will what? Woven rose. What is woven rose? Woven rose. Um, woven rose is uh, something you like macrame or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, uh huh. Ah, okay. Invites from retailers to source. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Retailers to source one rose that have been produced. What? Doing child labor. Okay, Kalasha Satyai wishes she, no, wishes, uh, no. That had been produced without employing child labor. labor. But we are, if we are talking to stop, is uh, to stop a uh, uh, selling woven root that had been produced with, to stop selling. Selling. Google groups. Selling. Selling. Yes, Google groups that have been produced with, not without. Or, uh... <laughs> so without that, groups have been produced. Produced? With? With? Child labor. With <clears throat> child labor. In that's that's it. He wishes. I think, 
Drug retailers will stop selling bone roll that had been produced with children. Yeah, it makes sense for me. Yes, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. So next. Oh, Fonda has taken us over to Europe. Fonda to health issues. Has taken us due to the health issues. I hope he will be able to combat with us next next year. I wish. I wish. I wish he uh, will be able. He be able to come back to come back with us next year to come back yes. with us next, next year. year that's it yes okay number four social entrepreneurs advice social entrepreneurs to focus Nessence. Governmental support of the business group. Sure. I need yeah. social interpret. Yeah. Advice. Advice. Yeah. No. He wish mm. no. that they no. go ahead. Go ahead. Minor social wishes. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pioneer social wishes. Pioneer social entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. But in this case, which? Because there are many of them, or some of them at least. I have pioneer social entrepreneurs advice. No, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, pioneer social which, entrepreneurs. Which? which? Pioneer social entrepreneurs advise nascents. Nascents. What it means, nascent. Uh, newborn. Yes, newborn or something that starts something. Nascent, okay, newborn entrepreneurs. Okay. The older advice to the news. Pioneer social pioneer is the, the 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 first one or the the starting the, who starts something. Yes. Pioneer okay. social entrepreneur. Oh, so they, they pioneer social they, entrepreneurs. They. they, they yes. Okay. They, they which? Oh, sorry. They wish. Wish. Mm -hmm. Social entrepreneurs. They wish. They nascent and nascent entrepreneurs. Nascent entrepreneurs. Will will stop. Stop. Focus their force. Focus. Focus in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, a star. A star. A star. A star. To focus. A star. To focus. Of, yes. We'll start to focus. Data force. Data force. To reduce. To reduce their dependence. Uh -huh. All of the. All of the all of the sentence. Yes. Okay. Okay. Please finish the technology innovation report by tomorrow. We need to revise it. Please finish the technology innovation report by tomorrow. We need to revise it. Hmm. Uh, 
We wish you would finish the technology innovation report by tomorrow. Maybe. Could, uh, could you repeat, please? We wish you would finish the technology innovation report. <sighs> With the last one, maybe to go. The founder of Good Weave uh, wishes more rock producers would join. Wishes more rock producers. would join. But I'm still unsure about the first one. <laughs> okay, let's try to do it. Social entrepreneurs. Wish sounds yeah, good. Yeah, I think. Um, I have a question, Mr. Linares. Is it supposed to be wish plus a gerund form? always or just if it applies as you can see we have two different options right so where you think it applies use it <sighs> as you okay. did on exercise too which is good okay the Thank founder you. of good way wishes for all retailers will start with the sourcing women sourcing woven rocks mm -hmm. Bing. Mm -hmm. You done? Yes. Okay. Give me just one minute. Let me check on one more group and that's it. Okay. Thank you. I wish. Hmm? I need to start as I, I wish. Mm, the sentence. I wish. Is... You're good if you want. Uh, just let me plug my computer. You can in this uh, exercise so it's not necessary to start with I wish, right? No, no, you already have the subjects. Exactly. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So you're staying the number three. So yeah. 
भाई बन गया रे आज जो फ्री ग्वारी नहीं है तो से नंबर वो दिस कहाँ नंबर थ्री ओके इलियाना इट विल बी आवर वी कैन स्टार्ट विथ आवर फाउंडर्स राइट आवर फाउंडर विशेस आवर फाउंडर विच आवर फाउंडर विच विशेस बिकॉज़ इस ही Mm. Is a he right? Or, yeah, is a he. I think. Our founder, yeah. which is he will start taking or he will. Mm -mm. Or mm. I hope he will be able to come up with this next year. Mm. Remember that this is to uh change a situation. The wish of changing mm -hmm. a situation. Uh huh. Our founder wishes to mm. but it's not necessary to use the whole sentence, right? Because mm. <laughs> in the second one, we we changed it. It, it was better. <laughs> Land number three, no founder wishes. Mm -hmm. No founder wishes. He will start resting. Mm -hmm. And I wonder which is he will start. I, I wish he has taken I guess I'm thinking resting, start resting, or stop working, or maybe resting. Mm -hmm. I feel which is used by resting, maybe resting, right? Resting year. The whole year. I wish I wish he will start. Mm. But we have the subject right there. Our founder wishes he will start resting. Um, resting what? I wish he will start resting so he can, so he can come back with us next year. That makes sense for you, I don't know. And I hope they will be able Yes, because he, there is another desire here. I hope he will be able to come back. Mm -hmm.
So you say uh, changing, I wish our founder. Oh, or, or I wish our founder. Or, or, our, or can we start with our founder? Because the subject is our founder. He. Mm, I don't know. I... Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, but it's a wish that I have when he says I hope he will uh -huh. be. Yeah, that. okay, got it. Way that I... So we can start with I uh -huh. wish our founder. I don't know. Como es? I wish. I wish our, our founder, founder will will start resting. Start resting. Resting. Um, so he can uh, rest in with us. Rest in what a sabbatical year or or earlier or or we'll start what resting. About, hmm? What about with or if Thunder has taken a sabbatical year due to the health issue? I wish he will be able to come back with us. Mm, that makes sense too. Next year. Yeah, I wish he will be. No, I wish. How? How did you say? I wish he will be able to come back. But we need to use the verb, the infinity plus the. Ah, adjective. the infinity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But we can rephrase it. Yeah. Right? I wish. Maybe I wish our founder would start resting so he could he could he could come back with us next year. The the way how Jose Wilfredo mentioned sounds also good. That just changing the second part. I wish he would rest. We need to use a verb with an ing in that way. I wish he would start healing to come back with us <laughs> next year. I don't know, something like that. Because our founder has taken a sabbatical year to the, due to health issues. I wish he would start healing. I don't know, what do you say? I put resting, you mentioned resting. But resting. that would be at the beginning. Start resting. I at the beginning or, or at the no. end? I wish our founder would start resting. Oh, you say that's changing the first part, not the second part of the sentence. So like he could, Freddy is saying. So he could come back with us next year. I so wish he Freddy? would be able. I wish uh -huh. he will be able to come back with us next year be able mm -hmm. you don't have to, to it, what we need to use the ing form uh -huh. no not necessarily look at the chart above we have two options uh, yeah. yes. we'll I, don't, join. I, I don't remember the first one yes <laughs> so the way how Jose will probably say it is the correct way mm -hmm. our founder yeah. has to and just changing the thing so we have to go Okay, so let's keep this rolling. Let me see where is it. Here it is. Oh, but I gotta stop this so I can share this.
try. Okay, so help me. Help you. Social entrepreneurs need to reduce costs. Who goes for the first one? Our group. Can I teach? Sure, anybody, go ahead. Uh, I, I don't know if someone else was. No? Yeah. Go ahead, Elena. Okay. Um, we were discussing with Ana Claudia and and Jarmin and it was Jarmin. Jarmin. I said Jarmin is Jarmin Jose Wilfredo. Oh, okay. The first one. I wish social entrepreneurs would start reducing operation costs to increase the number of its beneficiaries to achieve sustainability. We'll start reducing costs. Operation mm -hmm. costs. Oh, operation mm -hmm. costs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And increase the number of its beneficiaries to achieve sustainability. Do we all agree? So it, it, it should be social entrepreneurs wish they will start reducing operations costs and so on. Social entrepreneurs wish they will start reducing operation Russia. and flow. Mm -hmm. Cool. Operation costs and increase. <laughs> and increase the number of its beneficiaries to achieve sustainability. Good, good. That was good. What about number two? Kailash Satyarti. You know, I don't know who designed the books, but they, they uh, I don't know why they use so complicated names on some examples, right? <laughs> uh huh. Yes, we don't know it's he or she. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> yes. Maybe. Be, most, likely, most likely it's a he. Yes, most he. likely it's a he. Because the founder will be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so the whole the whole subject is he wishes through retailers will stop himself. Okay, so Kalish Hatiarti, the founder of Good Wave. Mm -hmm. Wishes. Wishes through retailers. Okay, rock retailers day. Uh huh. Hmm. Would we'll stop. Would we'll stop selling. Hmm. Would we'll stop. Would we'll start sourcing. Dale. But sourcing yeah would start but but so it's start not stop yeah start oh. sourcing woven dog maybe i don't know let's see tries to source woven rocks that have been produced without employing yeah <laughs> yeah uh, uh, i like the way how Ileana rephrased it when we were discussing, trying to understand this. Mm -hmm. And I took a note that it says Kalasha, whatever, <laughs> the founder of a mm -hmm. good way, wishes raw retailers would begin buying raws that had been produced without any child labor. I don't know if that was buying instead of sourcing. Aha, uh -huh. using buying? Can we? Because it, it's making a shape. We'll begin buying rows that have been produced without any child labor. Yes, the negative. Yeah, or you can they... paraphrase. You can use synonym uh, verbs or connectors. I mean, I, I, 
I have a question, teacher. Hey. In in this case, source is a, a kind of verb or is a name? It's a verb. It's a verb. Mm -hmm. Source. Because Acquire. Obtain. Sources. Sources. Uh, what? Providing or <clears throat> something like that. What's your source? Yes. Source. Woman rules. It's like select. I'm selecting women rocks. Yes, yes, yeah, okay, okay, now it must sense. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You have a noun after that, women rocks, right? The object they should be sourcing. And for me, both options are fine. Now we're focusing on using wood plus ing, but later you found some trouble. Let's see number three. This was tough. So I bit. wishes. Go ahead. No, no, I, no, I. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Because yeah, our founder has taken uh -huh. a sabbatical year due to health yes. issues. This is some a uh, uh, previous sentence. Something Go ahead. like that. Yes, and then uh, I wish. Uh, sorry, I lost. I wish. She will. He will, he will be able will to come back. Yes, he will be able to come back with us next year. Yes, not to the sky, but with us. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I wish he will be able to come back with us. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Did you get anything different on this exercise? No. It was a little yes, tricky, right? Enough. It was like very yes. suspicious. Okay. Our founder has taken a sabbatical year due to a health issue. I wish he will be able to come back with us next year. Yeah, that's yes. that's what we have. Uh -huh. I wish he will yes. be able. Instead of will, we use would. And instead of hope, which is a synonym of wish, right? It's very simple. Yeah. Okay, number four. It's going for it. Gracia, you're very quiet. Uh, I will go with pioneer social entrepreneurs, which nothing entrepreneurs uh, would start focusing their efforts to reduce their la la la. la. <laughs> <laughs> wish that this is not a common word, right? Nascent entrepreneurs would start focusing. Uh, entrepreneurs. Okay, wish nascent entrepreneurs will start focusing. Mm -hmm. their, their efforts. Okay, focusing their efforts to reduce their dependence on philanthropic and or governmental support as their business grow. Businesses grow. Which nascent entrepreneurs will start focusing their efforts. What's the meaning of uh, nascent? Newborn. Newborn, right? Like newbies, oh. the rookies, the rookies. Okay. Upcoming. Uh, what? Upcoming. Upcoming. That's right. Newcomers. Newcomers. Okay. Number five, please finish the technology invitation report by tomorrow. We need to revise it. We wished, we wish you will finish the technology innovation report by tomorrow. We need to revise it. Maybe. It could be we or I, right? It's like a boss asking a, a subordinate. So, yeah. Okay. We wish you would finish. Oh, my God. My dyslexia. Sorry. You will finish the technology innovation report by tomorrow. We need to revise it. 
and then this one's simple. Okay, and the last one, number six, the founder of Good Wave Experts expects more raw producers to join the innovative of the initiative, I'm sorry, of banning child labor. Uh huh. We should screw both sorts. Again, wishes would? Wishes produce, producers will join the initiative. So, I expect more rock producers. Wait, but I got lots, I'm sorry. The founder of Good Way wishes pro producers to start join, joining the da -da -da initiative of da -da 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 -da. This is what we'll start. Hmm. Which is produces to start joining the initiative of banning child labor. Okay, so where is this of expect some more rock producers? More rock producers. Um, oh, that's me, right? Hmm? Okay. So the founder of Good Waves expects the founder of Good Wave wishes, wishes rock producers to start joining mm -hmm. the initiative of banning child labor. Yeah, definitely. Do we all agree? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yep. Wow. It's just that when you go from, from the simple way that we were working on to a mox a more complex uh, context to which is the topic we're talking about in social entrepreneurs. Yes. It becomes, hard, the, it becomes harder. Start joining. What? Which is reproducible will start joining. Mm -hmm. Yes, because yeah. you left with two and <laughs> I so, lost. Join Ning. What? Which is reproducers? Will the star joining? What that is, yes. Wishes rock producers. Oh, 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 yes. Thank you. Para criticar son buenas. Wait. I cannot correct it anymore. Yeah, but I missed it. Wishes rock producers. Okay, thank you. So here should be wishes, rock producers, producers. would start, right? Will start joining. Joining okay. the initiative, the initiative. Da -da -da. Okay, do you have any questions so far with this? We're not following instructions on the book so far. I mean, I, I, this. It was not easy to to follow the instructions because you were asked to use uh, something else, right? Hold on. You were asked to use wish plus you would. Like giving instructions. That was more difficult from my point of view. What do you think? No idea. Okay, cool. I'm clueless. Okay, we're missing five minutes. Um, just really quick. Tonight's topic was grammar, wood for wishes about the future. Uh, again, I'm doing emphasis on the ones that haven't completed the exercises on on the platform, please guys, I need to upload those grades uh, to the grades report so they can send it to Insafwarp tomorrow. So please, it's just a few of you. I know it, you're tired. It is Monday, so my recommendation is, please start Mondays like if it was the best day of the week. So you can have a, a, an amazing week. Hold on. Um,
I'm gonna send you something uh, that I loved in 2000 something, <laughs> like three or four years ago. I, I I saw this video, I watched this video and helped me as teacher growing, you know, and understanding that I should take um, a different approach with my students. I, I was already, I have always have this, uh, part of my methodology and is listening and always ask to myself why does he say what he's saying what does he do what he's doing so what's the video is in spanish and i i love that guy that that teacher that old school teacher and it's just that you you cannot force the student to say what you expect and you will never have the right answers from your perspective. So always be open-minded and understand why is she doing that? Why is she saying that? Okay, so once you watch that video, you will understand it. And later, maybe not today, tomorrow, but one day, whenever you have time, William is aware of this. Let me see who else. Who else have been with me? Wendy, Wendy has been with me as well. And uh, there is a video that changed my life and helped me creating the homework, for example. And I'll send it to you because I cannot even say the name of the video anymore because of the copyrights. Pero si te sugeriría que vieras este video con alguien a quien aprecies y hagas de caso que estás dentro de... Eh, la audiencia que si el locutor dice salta saltas si te dice saca la lengua que de hecho lo hace sacar la lengua ok so just follow the instructions and the video y comprende ese segundo video te recomiendo que te enfoques que estés en un lugar tranquilo con esa otra persona o esas otras personas en tu familia para adaptarlo a tu diario vivir ok if you want to change your life like take control of it, become someone else, pay close attention to that guy. I'm staying tonight with, hold on, uh, who did I stay with last time? Francisco, right? Or was it Gracia? I can't remember, no, Gracia? So I'm staying with Gracia because Francisco was, was with me on, oh yeah, 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 today is the sixth lesson, I'm sorry, yeah. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. We're staying 10 minutes. Quick, quick. Okay. Okay, guys. Good night to the rest of you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Here, present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. There he is. Gracia Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. <laughs> no, present. Iliana Yusel Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Tomorrow, Iliana, don't miss the class. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Hey, good night. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. He left. He was here. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Present. Thank you. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Night night, teacher. Night night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy. She's not there, baby. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Okay, good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Please don't miss your class again. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. That was one day. Okay. Mrs. Diaz, Miss Diaz, or Mrs. Diaz, I'm sorry. Miss Diaz, right? <laughs> yeah, Miss <me too>. Diaz. <laughs> Hold on. Let me remove Wendy and Francisco. Okay. I remember once in a class when I did this of the session, uh, 
I was begging the student to leave, you know, and he was left. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I always, whenever it is the first time I stay with uh, some students, I always ask them two questions. Simple. Talk to me about your experience with English without mentioning brands, you know, academies. But how long have you been studying? And more importantly, um, after thinking about your experience with English, what have you identified nowadays to be your most difficult challenge? You know, what's your area of improvement if you have identified? Is it listening, speaking, reading, understanding? Uh, regarding my experience with English, I studied full of um, middle school and nursery in a bilingual school. And uh, up to um, bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. So I, I had also spelling, grammar, and uh, that type of subjects. And mm -hmm. then I spent about two years in a coffin, terrible years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and what, do you, what are you currently doing? Where are you working on? Uh, well, I'm, I'm currently working in uh, the Coca-Cola. Oh really? Yeah. So, uh, do, do you use English? No, that, no. that's the problem. <laughs> because I've been kind of losing my accent, and uh, native speaking has been uh has not been improving. Because I do like to read in English mostly. I do mm -hmm. mostly in English, so that's maybe my Achilles. Uh, Achilles. What heel? Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, speaking. speaking, but you speak very well. Yeah, but I be better. <laughs> you could be better, maybe if you spend more time in a concert. <laughs> I yeah, don't know. Yeah. No, just no. have a friend, you know, to talk to. I don't know. It's just a matter of practicing. That's all. That's all it takes. What area are you working on, Coca Cola? I'm working in an area called Cyrup which is within the production um, department. So I'm a VPO analyst. We have this uh, management system called VPO, Voyager Plant Optimization. Mm -hmm. And I pretty much do um, continual improvement. I implement environmental, uh, uh, the, the environmental pillar in all of the department. And I am, the VPO analyst for this specific area called Cyber. Wow. I didn't know that position existed among a, a regular company. You know, I hear about VPOs on call centers, but not on manufacturing company, which makes sense, actually. It does make sense. So your job is to avoid contamination through some methods or what? No, mostly has to do with um environmental um awareness yeah awareness mostly and also most of the time i i would um gather some um samples ev yeah evidence no mm -hmm. evidence uh, because every every month we have a validation with the um uh, auditor so we have a zoom meeting and i have to coach uh, frontline employees to speak in environmental friendly ways and uh, at least last month, uh, we had uh, the questions for committee and political, uh, environmental committee and political questions. So I had to coach them and we, we got it. Hey, that, that's very interesting. However, I find it a little boring in Spanish. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... It sounds more interesting in in English. I don't know. How, how come? It, maybe because I'm used to to see that topic on training in English. That's why I'm saying that. I I, I mean I I don't picture it. I don't I don't see it on a oh. presentation oh. in Spanish. Oh. Hmm. That so sounds unfamiliar to me. <laughs> maybe that's the reason. 
how do they how do they perceive it? You know, new employees when you explain them what they're supposed to do and not to do. Well, actually, because we have like seven pillars, and uh, the basic ones are security, quality, and environment, and then we have four others. So whenever new employees come to the company, uh, we give them this induction, mm -hmm. and then they are able to join us in the uh, production piece uh, of floor production Plant, floor. the floor production floor. Uh -huh. So it's like a new experience for them yeah it's, an experience. It's, it's a complete new experience for them and it's not like the i mean it's it's a complete a complete experience so well, where um, where is the the manufacturing plant of coca-cola nowadays it's in near quesaltepeque near quesaltepeque yeah near nejapa in nejapa with uh -huh, in nejapa hmm I mean, I go through that route very often and I can't recall it. I guess it's in one of the turns, right? It's not on the main street. Yeah, it is in the main street. It is on the main street? We'll see a big Coca-Cola bottle. I'll pay more attention to that because, oh my God, fact, I don't picture it right now. Well, when you come from La Constitución, which they uh -huh. are currently working on, uh, then when you go to Quesaltepeque, about five minutes before getting to the uh roundabout of uh, Corinca there is the Coca-Cola company I'll pay closer attention to it wow well but it was before somewhere else right near to to uh this place back, Caballeria back in the 90s yes <laughs> I'm so old oh my god <laughs> my my brother used to one of my brothers used to work there in Santa Ana Oh, really? Yeah, and the deposit. How do you say deposit in English? I forgot. Yeah, yeah but it's deposit. Uh, deposit, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Distribution center. The distribution center. Thank you. Yeah, and he, he's, uh, we are four, you know. I'm the tallest, and he's the, the, the tiniest. The, my, I mean, the, the oldest the is the tiniest. The I'm the youngest. No, no, he's the youngest, and you're the oldest, elder. No, the opposite. I'm, I'm the youngest, and the tallest. The tallest. Oh. <laughs> and he's the uh, young. He's the oldest, and the tiniest. <laughs> yeah, I like to say tiniest <laughs> because he's a dwarf. I mean, he, he's, he's not a dwarf, but you know, that's the way we've always bothered him with that, because out of the four, he's. The smallest, the shortest, the shortest. That's the word. But he's the one living in Florida and he is a welder now. But when he used to work in Coca-Cola, I remember, I think he had an accident or a friend of him had an accident with one of these bobcats moving the, the, the oh. whole things. Yeah, we have now security rules, golden rules, which do not allow anybody to get near them about what? five minutes. Yeah, that was awful because one of the pallets, the the, the iron pallets fell on, yeah. on the feet, on the foot, uh, somebody's foot, you know, and it broke it. So it was like, uh, so it wasn't my brother. I remember now. Uh, it was awful. That was really awful. So if you're in the production plant, be careful, I guess. Yeah. And... I'm a brigadier a member, mm -hmm. so I'm also in charge of making sure people use their personal like the, the uh, PP. Security. Yeah. The PP. Wow, man, I admire you now. So you live here near to Constitución, I guess. No. No. I live near Hermano Lejano, so I have to travel about. What? <laughs> oh my God! And at what time do you start working? At 8, 8 a.m. But oh, okay. sometimes I will be in supervisor. Uh, I will go as a supervisor. Mm -hmm. I will start my day at 6 a.m. and end it at 18, 18 or from 18 to 6 a.m. Most of the time I'm just uh, in administrative. But, but you said you're single, right? Yeah. Wow. That's wow. That's admirable. 
I live in Constitución, actually, but I have noticed the traffic going there. Yeah. There's no traffic in the morning. That's awesome. And the opposite as well. When you come back, there is no traffic on this area. But the problem is around there, right around there. Around there. Hano is, there's yeah. a lot of traffic. Well, go to rest then and good luck tomorrow. Hope you do your best. Thank you. You too. Have a good, good night. night. Bye. Bye. -bye.